Greetings everyone! In this video we'll talk about the black hole creator for Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to briefly illustrate its basic functioning and its limitations, which you should be aware about in the case you're interested in purchasing the asset pack. In order to create the black hole, simply drag and drop the blueprint in the scene. Set the material to an opaque static material instance and scale it up to whatever size you desire. If you have a static faraway skybox and you don't expect to have any interaction with the black hole, the setup is already complete. Make sure that your skybox matches the one in the black hole material. To make the material compatible with your skybox, go into the material instance and edit the skybox image. If you're using the Space Skybox library system for Skybox materials, the black hole has an inbuilt system compatible with it. Check the Space Skybox library system box in the material instance and match every parameter of the black hole skybox section with the ones of the skybox material. For this setup, there are two types of materials, opaque and translucent. Translucent materials are a little bit heavier, but you can place objects within the accretion disk. Keep in mind though that if these objects go beyond the event horizon, their light will not be bent. To do that, we need to use a different setup. If you want the black hole to warp the objects behind, we need to add a few more elements. First, we need the scene capture cube camera and a cube render target, and assign the render target to the scene capture. Then, open the material instance you are using in the blueprint, and assign the cube render target to the skybox texture parameter. In the blueprint details, check the skybox scene capture, and assign the scene capture camera in the scene to the SCC parameter. If you also have a skybox actor, you can assign it to the skybox actor parameter in the blueprint, although this is optional and can be left empty if you don't have one. As last step, select the skybox scene capture and add a new hidden object, then assign the black hole blueprint in the scene. The black hole should now be functioning correctly in play mode, however there is one further step if you are not using the default pawn. Open the blueprint, go to the event graph and you will see a green comment box. The default nodes here return the pawn's word position. The reason why this works so with the default pawn is that the pawn position is the same of the active camera. Now, probably you will not use the default pawn in your game, so what you need to do here is getting the player's active camera and its world position and assign it to the set actor location node. And that's it, that's how you set up the black hole. A few warnings to conclude. First, when you use the dynamic setup, if you place some ob objects inside the black hole sphere, you may encounter some issues with the gravitational lensing effect. I always recommend to put them outside in order to get a proper transition from front to beyond the event horizon. Secondly, and this is very important, always use the gravitational lensing effect with objects that are smaller than the black hole. If you have, let's say, a column or a bar that starts near the camera, goes through the black hole lensing area and continues beyond, it may disappear or cause some issues.